Welcome back with us, folks. Now, this is about how to find volume on a specific strike. Many of you will use Flow Algo and other option alert services, volume services, scanners, and so on. But knowing who else is in that play is often a good thing. And what I like to do is, let's say I'm in for after a dip, I look at who else is thinking the same thing as I am. Who else is looking at getting in? Or even better, who else is getting in already? Am I the only one finding the bottom of this, of this appealing? Or uh, everyone is staying away from it? Now, I'll show you with SPY, but it can be done with just about anything. And this is the Friday chart on the five minute. What you do, it's very simple. Show your mobile and I'll show you desktop afterwards. This is mobile. What you do, the idea is open the, the chain, uh, the uh, option chain. Let's say we're interested in the 453 calls. Now, what you do, you have to hold the bid or the ask of the strike that you want, either if you want to go put, same thing, bid or ask, calls, bid or ask, you hold. So I'll, I'll hold the where you, where you see that it says 89. Hold that. It opens up this option, Z, option details. Bottom right, three little dots. Press that. And then it says show details. On that, press show details. And now you just opened up the chart for that specific tri strike. So you see everyone that bought that strike and with a little cursor here, if you scroll over all these, um, these bars, you see how many were buying and at what time. So let's say this long bar here that you see, you see that 3,360 contracts were sold at 12.05 on that specific strike, open at 98 cents, and it closed at 106. Uh, sorry, it, you have the range, the close, the low. So SPY is something that has a lot of volume, something that is um, very liquid. Sometimes other tickers, you'll find that somebody is getting very either bullish or bearish on something. What I like to look for is, let's say we are at the bottom and it looks like it's the buy to dip time, right? So you open up the chart, the strike chart or a strike chart. And sometimes I will scroll through many charts, strike charts, and then I'll find that, oh, someone's very bullish, but that person's going next week. Or someone's going on a very higher strike than I thought I would go. So. Obviously, some, someone could be selling a strike. So the person expects that at expiration will collect the premium. However, sometimes it's someone being bullish on the play and it can be rewarding. So the idea is to look at who else is looking at the same thing and who else is getting in at the same time. Um, and that becomes the idea because only looking at the ticker is hard to know who's bullish and who's not, especially if we're trading options. So this is about the mobile version of Thinkorswim. I'll show you how it's done with the desktop. This is how to do it on the desktop. Don't mind my pointer that is completely out of line here, but you go to trade, spy, same example, 453 here. Right click on the bid or ask, and what it does is it brings up a sub menu. Go to that copy spy, the line that is showing here. And what you do, you will paste that in your chart. And look at that. You paste that in the area where you usually put your ticker. Control V for paste, obviously, and then boop, this is your chart for the 453 strike, this is on the five minute, shows you the volume 
on that specific strike. Also, what the this stop allows you, and this could be on a different um, show, but it allows you to trade with Active Trader. Allows you to set a stop buy and a sell. It is very convenient for trading. So I hope you've learned something with us today.